Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning and when today, children of God. When today, people of God, when tomorrow, when forever and ever in Jesus' mighty name. We thank Master Jesus for protection, love and grace. We thank him for fighting for us. For when we are weak, he's strong for us. And when we are weak, he gives us people to strengthen us. Because one is better than two. I welcome you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I welcome you by the power of the Holy Spirit. I welcome you because of the name of our Father Jesus Christ. That is above every name. That is keeping me and you. You are, have been kept by him. We are surrounded by his love. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Children of God, you are welcome. Mm-hmm. And to those who know who are not subscribing us. They are watching the channel without subscribing. Please, child of God, honor us by subscribing. And God will bless you. Help us to do God's work, to spread the word of God, to spread the word of God, to change lives and change all the nations through the words and prayers and all the preaching. Children of God, you are welcome. Let's pray and welcome the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, welcome you. Holy Father, we thank you even for the word of today, the book of Jeremiah, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Father, you are still speaking. You are still saying something, and you are still sitting on your throne. You never change. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for changing us to follow you. Father, to give us strength to endure. When we are weak, you are always strength for, for us. And you pray for us, you meditate, because you are Holy Spirit. And you meditate like groaning, as it says in the book of Matthew. You meditate and pray for us to get strength. We welcome you and say thank you. Father, that when the enemy wants us to fall down, you revive us. What more can we say is just to say thank you, Lord. We acknowledge, Father, the protection, the love and grace. Thank you for the weight as we read it. You are still reminding us to tell the enemy, to tell, Father, those who resist, to follow your word, your commands, your instruction, and all, Father, that you want in us mm-hmm. to do. To accept even you as the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Father, we thank you, Spirit of the living God. We thank you, Ebenezer. We thank you, the line of tribe of Judah, for giving us a word. So that we'll read it slowly, attentively, and meditate upon it. Holy Father, you are welcome. You are welcome, Holy Spirit. You are welcome, Spirit of the truth. You are welcome, the King of glory. You are welcome, Trinity of heaven. Fill us, direct us, and whatever we do. And give us strength when we are weak. Continue, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, children of God. We are welcome. And our book, the word of God, it is in the book of Jeremiah 4. Jeremiah 4, 4 will prove text it. Jeremiah 4, verse 23 to 28. Jeremiah 4, verse 23 to verse 28. It reads, I looked at the earth. That's what Jeremiah saw, children of God. I looked at the earth and it was formless and empty. And at the heaven, and the light was gone at the heavens. I looked at the mountains and they were quaking when this was like earthquake. And all the hills were swaying. The hills were moving Mm -hmm. sideways. That's verse 23 and 24. I looked at the earth. It was formless. No shape. Empty. No bed. No human. Nothing. And at the heavens... And their light was gone. There was no light. Dark. I look at the mountains and they were quaking. Earthquakes on the mountains. 
It reminds us when we go to the book of Matthew, when the disciple ask him, what are those signs? He says, start to fear when you see earthquakes. Do not uh, fear a lot when you see all the buildings falling down. No, but when there is a quaking. So here Jeremiah saw what? A quaking on the mountains. And all the hills were swaying. Imagine the hills going sideways, swaying. I looked and there were no people. Every bird in the sky had flown away. That's not bad, that's nothing. Remember, it's what Jeremiah saw, child of God. I looked and the fruit land was a desert, a desert. Dry. Nothing. All its towns lay in ruins. It was ruin. Ruin as, as if there was no town, there was nothing. Deserted. Not even a, 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 a single person. Mm. The, or, or those who loved movies, like that time I used to watch movies, I remind, they remind me of a legend where uh, Will Smith was acting alone. No one. It was only those demons. So imagine in a town like that. Town were ruined. Hmm? He says, oh, no people. No bed flew a sky. Uh, a bed uh, in the sky had flown. They went away to the other places. And then a further look, the fruitful land was a desert. And its towns lay in ruins. I want to read No town. Ruined nothing. Finish. Scaput. Though I, uh, though I will not destroy it completely, therefore the earth will mourn and the heavens above grown dark. Because I have spoken and I will not relent, I have decided and will not turn back. That was what uh, Jeremiah had it. Now we have to tell all the children of God, of the people of Israel. He have to tell us. Because that's what God told him. And God says, I will never, I will never even change my mind. It will happen because of the sins. The sins that covered the world. The sins that covered all African countries. African countries are worse on sinning. I don't say that the other places are not worse. America it has been taken over by Satan, by, sorry, witchcraft. When a man of God, a woman of God is preaching on the side, it will be a Satanist and, or a witchcraft person who is, he has put uh, the, the sheet and the moon and uh, down there, the triangle is busy opposing what a child of God is doing. Why I say that's still better? There's no initiation of children to Sangomas. Initiation to Sangomas or uh, every celebrity these days, if a celebrity doesn't have uh, uh, become a Sangoma, it's not a celebrity. African countries are doomed. Darkness is getting more and more. So our father says, I will finish everything. He said, I will never change it. Read it, child of God. Read it and listen. Read it, child of God. It's from verse uh, Jeremiah 4, starting from verse 23 to 28. And when he said, Father God, that you it, I have decided and I will not turn back. He will do it. Today when I was speaking to a, a prophetess Audrey, she said, uh, I was reading, she gave me a powerful script to read. Then she said, prophetess Ruth, a midst of every pain and challenges. That was very powerful. We have to keep, you have to keep, we also have to keep on praying and watch 
to watch until our father come and find us praying. Not to find us where we turn ourselves, no, because my challenges in my family is too much. Now I'm thinking that let me turn and take a short left and try to go somewhere the way they can help me. And where I'm going, I will die, probably. It will happen exactly. So here, yeah, children of God, indirect like him. Father God is still talking to us as an anointed one to be strong in the Lord. It, it comes, challenges children of God and fill me and fill. But in my heart, I keep on saying, Father Lord, you created me. No one, no weapon fashion against me shall prosper. Because you live inside me. So we have to be stubborn. Monitoring spirit are everywhere, they are full, especially YouTube, to monitor us in order to come and press us down. And I thank Prophet this Mutal pray today to us. Remind me, so prophets, you have to do like one, two, three, four. YouTube was full of monitoring spirit and wicked evil people. And I know it's the truth. So children of God are missed, are missed of all darkness, evil insects, darkness, principalities, demons that are pissing a families. Those are practicing witchcraft want to press her down because they have let her heart to be used by with Satan as a demon to come and torment the family. A means of that, we have to stand up and continue with prayers. And pray as if Father, it's a last God, not the last day. That is what Prophet Jesus said always. Pray as if your time on earth is the last time, is the last days. Meaning that we have to be constantly on prayers. He used to emphasize that. Child of God, don't break a break in prayer. It's a break in God. It's all prophet tribulation. It's all his words. A break in prayer is a break in God. Pray always as if tomorrow you depend, like you depend in everything on prayer and as if tomorrow will never come. So that's what we have to do, children of God. I'm lucky that when I'm weak, I know I have prophets that I will, and all you anointed children of God, because you are my family, that after I preach and listen to the wisdom from my prophets, and then I, I, I become revived. So children of God, we have to continue and pray. Here it is. Imagine when it's at night and there's, it's load shedding, how dark it is. So imagine it's like that. No human being, no bed, no nothing. Everything is ruined. Mountains are quickening. Hills are swaying left and right. Because of the sins that were very stubborn. We don't want to listen. People are still blaspheming that there's no God. They call him names. And they are still even saying that it's a myth. There's no God. People don't mind that when you post something, someone will go and answer the posting and say, ah, oh, yeah, we've been here waiting 100 years. Uh, he's still not here. Someone was commenting like that. Not in my channel, but in all uh, TV show sons when they were preaching. So children of God, we, that's why always I say that, men, we have been called and we shall rejoice in the Lord. You will never lie to us. That's why you were born like that. Very unique. They might criticize that she doesn't like parties. Hey, she don't want to go to people's houses. Hey, she's so choosy. Because you know that what is inside you is unique. You are carrying something unique. We are spirits. Spirits, no one will understand how the spirit operates. A spirit can be seen now in Zakaria Park, Johannesburg South. After two seconds, the spirit they will see it in Johannesburg North. 
Because it's a spirit. It's difficult, difficult and painful when you are pressed down. But once you said, I know the palm under. And I'm a spirit who can kill a spirit. Living in a physical body. And exactly, no one can kill a spirit. And that spirit that is inside, it's not just there to protect only. To pray profusely and groan. You know to groan. Hmm? To groan, praying for you. In those hey, those difficult days. It groan and pray for you in those difficult days. So cheer up, child of God. Let's always remember the book of John 16, verse 33. And the book of Matthew uh, 13, verse 27. Not to be afraid. And to cheer up because he overcame the world because of his death. And when he died, he died with you. And resurrected with you because you are part of him, child of God. You are part of him no matter how. That's why you are very inquisitive on doing all God's work. You want to know more and more. That's why you are unshakable. That's how you are. We thank Master Jesus for gathering us. And make us to be strong like, the, like this. To know it's with us. I pray that your faith shall never fail. I pray that way there's the smallest disbelief. God help their unbelief. God remove the doubt and strengthen us. Resurrection power upon them. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's pray. You'll touch and put the hand where you want to put the hand so that we can pray. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, descend. Holy Ghost, Spirit of the living God, descend. Holy Ghost, come and make a way where there's no way. Holy Ghost, resurrection power, scatter, destroy, uproot, search and bear. Flow, Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, fill the stomach. Holy Spirit, fill the heart. Holy Spirit, manifest. Take control in the body fluid system. Holy Spirit, fill the stomach. Rivers of the living water, fill the stomach. Holy Ghost, descend, uproot, patch out darkness, yokes, stubborn demons, stubborn enemies, stubborn witchcraft, stubborn evil familiar spirit. Holy Ghost, contrary spirit, burn and fall down and be destroyed. Holy Ghost. Deliver the hand of my Father that laid the foundation of the world. Fail. Touch your children. Touch your children. Touch your children. Correct. Rectify weather mistakes. Holy Ghost, fire, search and destroy. Patch out darkness at tight spirit. Go. Come out. That body, that flu, that system. Come out on the face, the bones. Come out and go. Sword of the Spirit, descend. Cut off stubborn darkness, stubborn demonic linkage, demonic dominion, witchcraft dominion. Break it loose. Holy Ghost, paralyze stubborn enemies, tormenting your children. Move, Holy Ghost. Sword of the Spirit, search and break every content, every linkage. Every cage that they cage your children. Holy Ghost, Son of the Spirit, break and destroy the evil cages where they cage your children not to prosper. Where they cage your children's finances. Where they cage them in their own houses. My Father, if any child of God listening, where they've been caged in their own houses, break it loose, release your sword. Cut it, Lord. Free the child of God in Jesus' mighty name. Be free from those cages, children of God. I disconnect it by the fire of the ghost. I disconnect it by the sword of the spirit. I break it and disconnect it. Permanently become irreparable in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, come down, power of the ghost. Descend and search and burn. All of us fire fall in the roof, the ceiling, fall in the rooms, all over their cars, 
What God search every darkness, search every yoke, every evil cage, break it, disconnect it, all goes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any evil altar, witchcraft altar, that has been built in the houses, that is invisible, will go search and destroy with the sword of the Spirit. Pull it out, Lord. Search and break it loose, wherever it's hiding. Cut it off, Lord. Invisible shrine. Invisible evil art built in our houses. They're all over the houses, wherever it's hidden. It might be in the yard, in the corners of the houses, their yards, in the foundation of the houses, in the walls, they're sealing the roof, their garages inside, in front of their houses, the yard, the gates, the street. What was fire be broken? I break it loose. Sword of the Spirit, cut it off. I use the burning sulfur to burn those altars. Rust and be disconnected. Evil altars. Where you have been formed. And you are invisible. In order to torment and leak the children of God's lives. So that you can hear whatever they are speaking and planning. By the power of resurrection. By the pound of ghosts, I took the burning sulfur, I pour and rust wherever you are. Be burned and be destroyed. You shall never connect to the child of God. You shall never connect to our lives, our children, thy children, their lives. I burn you, become ashes. Become irreparable in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Invisible familiar spirits and insects hiding, coming only when they sleep or in the other kingdom to make an avenue to torment the children of God, to enter their noses when they're sleeping, their ears, and to build convent in their bodies in order to destroy them. To record everything to make gadgets in their bodies. To connect in the demonic world. Satanic kingdom. To connect on the witchcraft. Houses and link and all uh, 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 altars. Holy Ghost, fire be broken. I use the axe of fire. The axe of God, I cut it and destroy those linkage and gadgets. Be broken by the power of ghost. Come out. Come out by the power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every name. Be disconnected, I lose the children of God. Receive freedom. I break it loose. Receive the power of the ghost, child of God. Take the anointing and the power of the ghost. Break it loose in Jesus' mighty name. I resurrect every dead organs in you. That is connected with a wicked evil altars. Where they started to rot it, to make it rot, make it painful. So that when you lay in the hospital, you must be diagnosed with more and more diseases. Be broken in those evil altars. Of course, fire, I disconnect every infirmity, disease, viruses. Connected to wicked evil altars. That are visible in the children of God's houses. That are controlling them. I break it loose, be disconnected. Release the life of a child of God. Be released. Be revived. Take back your life. By the power of God, we are unstoppable. We have the grace. Powers of darkness and Satan. You are going back to the pit of hell. One, two, three. Power of God, destroy it and break it loose. One, two, three. Go back where you're coming from. You darkness. You Satan. Took all your diseases. You have viruses, you have infections that you deposit to the children of God using the nose, the eyes, the ears. I break it loose, the whispering of spiritual husband, spiritual wives connected to graveyards.
operating when we sleep in their lives. I break those linkage in Jesus' mighty name. Or because fire be disconnected and go. Linkage from the villages. Connecting to them. Fire in your tunnel where you operate. Invisible, even rivers, streams. Connecting the children of God in their houses to the villages, to witchcraft villages. All the stream of witches and wizards, they swim to come and connect and demand the children of God. I break whatever you are using. Be broken, evil want. Evil proof. Be broken and burned by the path of ghosts. Be disconnected. Evil spoons. Be roasted and melt with the burning sulfur and die. Be roasted and become irreparable. Witches and wizards. Be totally paralyzed and die. I cut you off by the sword of the spirit. Release the children of God. Be released by the power of God. Be released by the arm of my father that laid the foundation of the whole world. He created me and you. The light of God to destroy darkness that is following you through the tunnels, the evil rivers, moving, flowing, to demand the children of God. You nightmares out in their lives. Be broken. You nightmares, fire of the ghost, the minute you connect to the child of God. Nightmares, disappear by the power of the ghost. Nightmares, be destroyed, release the child of God. She needs to sleep, or he needs to sleep. I break the blockage for them not sleeping. Be broken wherever you connect the children of God, not to sleep, to disturb all their sleep. That linkage, moving, connected to the lakes, you put poison. You link them by marks on the legs. Now, go out. One, two, three. What was fire thing of God on top of the legs? Now, go. One, two, three. What was fire thing of God on top of the marks? Any evil mark, marked by demons, polluted by Satan, in order to mark your body, in order to use it as a linkage or connecting point, be broken and disconnect to go. Out in Jesus' mighty name. I release the children of God. Be released by the Father of God. Be released by the power that opened the tomb. In Jesus' mighty name. Holy Father. I pray, my Father, for our African countries. Father, show them a sign, Lord, to change their behavior. That wicked behavior. Show them the sign, Lord. Fire of the ghost. Fire of the ghost. Show them the sign, Holy Father. You are deliverance hand. Show them the sign. Blasphemous. Evil people. Tormenting the children of God. The body of Christ. Killing them innocently. I paralyze them by the power of the ghost. Blood shedding. I silence them by the power of the ghost. Protect your body of Christ, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, descend to thy children, the youth. Come in the heart, Lord. Those are your prophets. You are pastors. You are evangelists. Father, you are everything. Father, open the eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the eyes of our youth be open. Be open. Let them receive the Holy Ghost. Let them receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Father, speak with them through dreams. Change their lives. For when we are dark, Lord, it's only you who can change their lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Any child of God, Lord, that father, they lost items, documents, IDs, finances one day, purses that are collected by Satan and is urgent in the kingdom of darkness. Where he make it a link in the evil altars and use it to steal, to kill and destroy in their lives. Be broken. I destroy those kingdoms. Burning sulfur, coal of fire. Yellowstone, thunder of the ghost missiles of heaven. 
Rout your fire in thy kingdoms. I destroy them by the power of the ghost. Be destroyed, Lord. Retrieve it. Retrieve it by the power of the ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, retrieve it, Lord. Kingdom of darkness. You demons. You don't have a legal right to torment the children of God. We know that others, their king, their organs, body parts, are in the kingdom of darkness while they're living, taking tablets. I retrieve every organ of a child of God. That is a curse in the kingdom of darkness and witchcraft. That is a curse in evil altars of darkness. Be broken, you linkage. Be retrieved in Jesus' mighty name. Locate the owner's organs, their glory. What are you doing in the kingdom of darkness? Locate the owners in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Father, locate it. Holy Ghost. My Jesus. Locate all our lost items. Take it back. Let them receive. Father, restore it to them. Father, retrieve it for them. Gather it back to them. Their purses, finances, their organs, body parts. I back to the owners, Lord. Jesus, mighty name. Holy Ghost. Power of resurrection. Resurrect, my Lord. You are finger your hand. Take it back in that evil kingdom. Take it back to the owners. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Father. You are still God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Any children of God, that are marriages, their partners, their fiancés, spirits, are operating under the spirit of spiritual husband operating tormented by spiritual husband that linkage coming from graveyard fire I cut you off son of the spirit fire I cut it off witchcraft manipulation from graveyard you create the face of the husband their partners then every night they think they are sleeping with their husband what is it you demons you are evil Son of the Spirit, acts of fire, cut it, cut it into pieces, irreparable pieces, be broken, release their marriages, their husband, their partners, release them, all because fire cut you off, disconnect it, all because fire destroy you, go you contrary spirit, be broken, the spirit of deviation, you snake, all because fire, deceit and lies, be broken, I cut you off, release marriages, their marriages, their partners. I break you loose. I disconnect whatever you are doing in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are children that are looking further for partners. Marriages, Lord. Open a way. Make a way, Lord. Disconnect the blockages. There are spiritual husband and wives that block them not to get marriages because of ancestral spirit in their families that sold them not to work, not to have marriages, not to have husband. Be broken with craft spirit, some common spirit. Because fire I break you loose. Release the children of God. Come out in their lives, their future. Let them receive their husband's Lord. Because of ancestral spirit, because of those water serpents, Levitia, that they claim the children of God's marriages not to marry, they block them. Or it goes, fire, fire, call of fire. My father released a fish hook, and hook the nose of Levitia, and release your double edge. A sword and break it and cut that hardened skin. Father, disconnect it. Release the marriage of your children. Child of possess your marriage. Possess the marriage that was stolen by Levitan and all ancestral spirit. You ancestral spirit. Come out in the lives of God's fire. Out in the lives of fish, all goes fire. Release. The children of God, they must marry. I break those blockages, be broken. I disconnect whatever you block, block them, not to marry. Release their husband or father. Let them possess their husband and their partners. Father, they want to live a normal life. Give them husbands and children, Lord. Break loose.
lose the spirit of blockages of marriages. Go. Spiritual husband. Ancestral spirit. Sangoma spirit. Your ancestral spirit. Living in the waters. Snakes. Burning sulfur in your altars. Call of fire in your head, your crowns. Release the children of God for their marriages. Be broken, all goes fire. Sight and burn, all goes fire. The thing of God upon you. The burning rain, all goes. The sword of the Spirit from heaven. Cut and destroy all the altars. Break it loose. Disconnect the blockages. In Jesus' mighty name. All goes fire, fire. Disconnect. Release the marriage, Lord. All goes fire, destroy the altars. Come out. Oh, to block our marriages. The marriages. You block them not to marry. Be destroyed. Be broken. Total release them. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. The light of God in their lives. All goes. Glory, power, anointing, authority. To overcome darkness, even in the other kingdom. We operate when we sleep. Be broken that the children of God receive wisdom. Wisdom to be wiser than witches, enemies, darkness, demons, Satan, snakes, marine spirit, ancestral spirit. In the other kingdom. More wisdom upon you. I link your wisdom with Solomon's wisdom. Power of resurrection. Fill us and our lives, our children. Flush every poison from head to two. Be flushed out by the power of the ghost. The bones, the cells, the marrow, under the feet, the legs, the shoulders, the elbows. Be flushed out with the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Flush and disconnect poison, Holy Ghost. The blood of Jesus all over the body flu system, Holy Ghost. Barricade and protect them from the enemy, Holy Ghost. Blood of Jesus. Idol spirit. No feeding to them forever. Let your food be burned as soon as it enters our mouth, the children of God's mouth. Be roasted, idol food. Become powerless by the power of the Holy Ghost. As soon as you enter our food, idol food, you shall never initiate us and release sickness and disease to the children of God. As soon as we eat, or they eat when they sleep, melt and be flushed out by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, so shall it be. You are free in Jesus' mighty name. When the Son of God, Son of God says you are free, you are free indeed, child of God. Be protected. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be protected. Wherever you touch, wherever you go, wherever you move, continue to win. And win forever in Jesus' mighty name. Emmanuel. And Shalom. May God bless you. We must know what about the issue of uh, Lord Shedding that is doing all these things to us, make us suffer, don't have electricity, and when. But God will continue to preserve us. The work of God will go on and on. No blockage is fashioned against us that shall prosper. In Jesus' mighty name. Remain blessed. You are highly favored by God. Remember that always. And that you are a child of God. And you are a royal priesthood. And you are unstoppable. The grace in you is so sufficient. May God bless you. See you tomorrow.